Hey you guys, how are you doing? Happy Sunday. It's your Monday. Good morning to you. Turn the heat off. You live in a shoe. <laughs> I haven't sang that on here in a long time. Okay. I'm currently uploading my vlog from last night on my phone because our Wi-Fi is so s slow today, but we went to go have brunch and um, <laughs> I was like looking at my phone while we were at brunch and I was like, why hasn't the uh, computer or like, or computer, why hasn't the video finished uploading? I couldn't figure it out, right? Well, I got, I was like, I ran home to see what was going on after brunch and um, I had like started uploading it onto YouTube and then shut my computer. <laughs> well, Peter, there's probably your answer right there. So, um, we got up today, it is Sunday. It is absolutely, absolutely beautiful outside here. Let me show you a little bit of what early fall in Indiana looks like. You see, it's beautiful skies here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hey, Mr. Tamarine. Look at these trees. Now, in about a week or two, these trees will be turning. You can already see some of them are turning already. But anyway, um, we got up today, and they were mowing the lawn out back. <laughs> so. I was like, I said to Alex, I said, um, have you taken the dogs out already? Cause he got it before me and he goes, yeah. And I said, are they mowing the lawn? And he goes, yeah. And I was like, oh, well, I guess I can't do my meditations out there today. So I actually uh, just stayed in bed and uh, didn't look at anything on my phone. Sat there, did my prayers, did my positive affirmations, and then I um, got on the computer, or got on the computer, I got on my phone, and I looked up that, I have it saved, but, um, I have it saved, oh, well, I was gonna read it to you guys, but it's, uh, today is the beginning of a new day, um, and it's this little saying that I've said forever, and I love it, and um, so I looked it up again and screenshot it from my phone, and then I um, Googled just like positive, like daily meditations, and I looked up a recovery one that was from the 24 hours a day book, and then, and it was really interesting on the heels of the conversation that I had last night in my vlog, because it was about like not questioning your higher powers, like path for you or whatever you're going through. And I was like, this is really interesting on the heels of what I was just talking about. And then um, I looked up another one and then I looked up this one and it was like from Success, Success Magazine and it was like 15 positive affirmations. And um, so I read those and yeah, and then I started my day. And then I still didn't like look at my phone. I um, I mean, I had looked at my phone because I had looked that stuff up, but I hadn't like gone in to look at social media or anything. And I got a big glass of water and I put on a lush cup of coffee face mask. And I never like hardly ever do the face masks in the morning. So I did that and then Alex was taking a shower and we were getting ready because we went to go have brunch with his best friend that just moved back here from California. So we did that and um, it was, that was fine. Like, you know, I have really, really found, and I know that I've like been talking about this on a daily basis, but this whole idea of like not going right to my phone or not turning the TV on or not getting on the computer and doing work like right in the morning has been so good for me. Like, I just feel so calm and so peaceful, you know? Um, I, I really cannot sing its praises high enough. And it's just such a simple thing that you would think that like, okay, Peter, why is this such a difficult idea? Like, okay, you don't need to harp on it. But it's like these simple things that really make the changes in my life for me. Um, I can tell it's gonna take forever to upload this vlog. It, like when you upload it on your phone, it's different than when you upload it on your computer and it, like it has to prepare it first. And I'm like right now at like 20% of it preparing. That means that's before it even uploads, so. Um, I'm actually on my way to Best Buy because I want to get another battery for my camera so that when I'm vlogging, it doesn't stop. <clears throat> As you know, last night, it just like stopped all of a sudden at the end. And then I had to come home and I had to charge the battery for a couple minutes so that I could do the ending part because I didn't want it just to cut off. So I think it's time that, that I just have two batteries anyway. But if something happens, I at least have an extra, right? Um, 
then I'm gonna go to the Meyer and I'm gonna get some more hand sanitizer, that Mrs. Meyers. Cause as much as this is okay, this like hand sanitizer gel, it's just not my favorite. And then I'm gonna also go to um, Half Price Books. I have an exciting book announcement to make this week. So you have to stay tuned for that if you follow my booktube channel. There has been something that I have wanted to do since I started on booktube, and I'm now doing it. And um, yeah, the announcement will be up by Wednesday. Some people already know. They're like, oh, I put two and two together. Like people that are like really booktubers like already know. Um, but I'm like so super excited about this. So anyway, um, I mean like this is like honest to God, like since I started booktube, it's been kind of like a dream of mine. I thought I put the remote behind her, but I didn't do that. Okay. Um, so we went to brunch and here's my coffee, my take home coffee. Today I had the, um, it's just called the Patashu blend, because it's, it's Cafe Patashu. And um, I had, the I Want You Can't Refuse, No Bacon, Add Red Onions and Gouda Cheese with uh, potatoes and, a, excuse me, an everything bagel. I couldn't eat all of it. I ate the whole omelet, but I didn't eat the potatoes or the bagel, all of it. And then coffee and water. Alex had, same thing he always has, turkey chili with tons and tons and tons and tons of cr croutons. They have like the best croutons in the entire world. And it's like really like bread that's been like buttered and toasted and they cut it up, you know, it's like that kind of croutons. And then um, Sarah had cinnamon toast because they have like really, really good cinnamon toast there. And um, <laughs> she's like really trying hard to be vegan. And I said, something to her about, I said something about like, well, when it's your off, like she said something and she goes, well, if it's my off day and I go, your off day. And she's like, yeah, my off day of being a vegan. And, um, she, th this like puts shit like really in perspective for you. Right. And I go, what do you mean your off day? And she was like, well, yesterday she was like, she's like, I'm trying really, really hard to do my best. She's like, but like yesterday I had like tuna and, um, I said, okay. And I said, don't people say stuff to you? And she goes, what? And I go, don't people say stuff to you like you're not really a vegan? She goes, I don't really care if people say stuff to me. Or I was like, all of a sudden it makes total sense that I like the last recently I realized I live in like this glass bubble that nobody else like lives in. And it's like, I, why should I give a fuck what other people think about, you know, like if I'm eating vegetarian or if I'm not, you know, I always get that question and I'm like, yeah, I am. But like, I feel like so defensive about it. It's like, who care, you know? So anyway, she had, um, cinnamon toast <clears throat> and then she had, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, she had an omelet too. She had, the, they actually have like several vegan options there and she had a vegan omelet. And um, then we all had coffee. And then we, uh, so afterwards we sat there for a little bit and then she and Alex were going to like return this thing at Dick's Sporting Goods for her. And so I um, ran home. They were gonna go hang out for a little bit. She had been looking for a house here in Indianapolis and um, was like, she really wanted to buy a house because she just moved back here. And now she's like, I think I'm just gonna rent an apartment for a year. So she is like, found the apartment that she wants to move into, which is really interesting because it's like the same apartment that Alex's other really good friend lives in. And it's really close to us and it's really close to Tanya. I mean, she, she knows Tanya, but she doesn't know Tanya well. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's good that she's back. So they're hanging out for the little bit for this afternoon because they haven't really seen each other a whole lot. And I'm running to Best Buy to get another battery. And then... Uh -huh. And that's about the size of it. My mom used to always say that back in the day. That's about the size of it. It's been a great day so far. People always, like, they'll say, like, what part of Indianapolis do you live in? And, they, and I say, we're real close to the fashion mall. So, like, this is the fashion mall. Let me show you. It says, see, it says right there, the fashion mall. Keys to the crossing. There's, like, Saks and then Crate and Barrel and Cheesecake Factory's right there. And then over here is Lush and 
Um, all that Sephora's over there. So. We have like two malls, like right in row. There's like the fashion mall, and then down here is um, Castleton. When I was growing up, this was a lot different. This was like, it didn't have all the, it had like Jacobson's, and it had, there's a Nordstrom in there. Um, Nordstrom Rack is right down here. Um, but when I was growing up, this, like the fashion mall was completely different than it is now. And Castleton was kind of the mall that everybody went to. It's actually, Alex had like a flannel shirt on today and I was like, it's, he, I said, is it cool outside? And he goes, um, he goes, yeah, it's like low 70s. I just looked, it's 79 degrees. I went outside, I had on like this blue kind of like flannel shirt on. <laughs> flannel <laughs> Hey Peter, why don't you invent, why don't you start inventing words now? Uh, flannel <laughs> I actually kind of like that. I think I'll keep it. It was flannel -y. You guys know what I mean. It's kind of like flannel, but not really. <laughs> flannel -y. Um, So anyway, he had, I had this like blue flannel shirt. <laughs> I'll be using that for weeks now. He had this like blue, I had this, <laughs> I had this like blue flannel shirt on. And uh, I walked outside. I was like, oh, it's a little toasty outside. And thank God, because we went and he wanted to sit outside. And of course, you know, like when you walk up to, and I was like the last to walk up to the table and everybody else picks their seat. So I'm the one like right in the, like, it's literally like I'm laying out in the sun, you know? I mean, it's almost 80 degrees outside and I've got this flannel, <laughs> I can't stop saying it now, this flannel shirt on, you know? So for my first video, on my review channel, so if you don't know I'm starting a review channel, you should go follow it. It's called Peter Review Stuff. It's listed below. And um, I've gotten so many comments from people that have said, like I have never in my life uh, subbed to a channel that had no videos on it. <laughs> so I'm like, I think it's, I really appreciate it. The support has been awesome, you guys. I'm so excited about starting that channel. Like I'm so, so, so pumped to start that channel. And um, so, <laughs> I might have to review some flannel shirts on there. <laughs> so many people are giving me ideas. I literally have ideas for months now based on what everybody has given me. And uh, so, but the first one is, of course, the pumpkin spice. And so I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to do it outside on our patio, our back patio, since I haven't used it for anything else this year. And um, I think I'm going to get some pumpkins and have the pumpkins out there too. Don't you think that would be so pretty? You guys are like, we really don't care. Can you just do the review channel started already? Should I put up a, uh, well, like a welcome video on there? If you think I should put a welcome video up there, I'll do it tomorrow. So let me know in the comment section. Say, yes, Peter, we think you should do a welcome video or like welcome to the review channel. This is what you can expect reviews <laughs> of all kinds of flannel stuff. <laughs> Coffee's not a great thing to spit up because it's hot. <laughs> Summertime and the living's easy. Have you guys seen that documentary, Little Girl Blue, about Janis Joplin? I haven't talked about that in so long. That is such a great documentary. My favorite part of the documentary, I was thinking about this the other night, is when you, okay, like Janis sings, Janis, like I know her, but I feel like I do. Janis sings at the uh, Newport Folk Festival, and it's like the first big gig that she and Big Brother and the Holding Company have. So she's out there singing, right? And I can't remember, I think she sings Ball and Chain, and she's singing it, and Mama Cass from The Mamas and the Papas is sitting like literally in the front row with like her, her best friend. And she's sitting there, and they're like watching it, right? And like at the beginning, they're like not moved. Like when they watch it, they're just like, who is this girl, okay, like who is she? No big deal, right? Watch Mama Cass's face at the end of it. Like Mama Cass, I mean Mama Cass was like on the forefront of all this, right? Watch her face when Janice, and she's like, wow, wow, you know? Just imagine being there. It's like my mom used to tell a story. She would say like, I can remember seeing Steve Martin on the Johnny Carson show, like the very first time that he was on the Johnny Carson show way back in the day. 
She was like, I knew watching him that he was gonna be a big deal. She goes, he was so hilarious. You just couldn't watch him and not, and she goes, everybody the next day was talking about how funny Steve Martin was. That's really what happened with Janis Joplin, you know? It's like when you really realize that somebody has it, like they just have that it thing that you're just like so intrigued by or so attracted to, and it's like they got it, you know? It's that it factor that people talk about. Can you imagine being there in one of those small venues in San Francisco or at the Newport Folk Festival and hearing Janice for the first time ever, you know? Like ever. I think that would be so cool. I put up this little video of me yesterday um, on Instagram because I was dancing the whole day to Bob Dylan um, at the concert for Bangladesh, which is one of my all time. My mom has the albums. Well, she had the albums. I now have the albums at home. But um, I have a bunch of the music downloaded on um, my uh, my iTunes. I, I it's like one of the best concerts ever. Ravi Shankar is like I used to listen to that music and light incense in my um, apartment and I. Well, I thought I was a beatnik intellectual. <laughs> I don't know, was I? <laughs> God, it's so funny when you look back on your life and all the stuff that you, you know, like you feel so strongly about, and then you look back in your life and you're like, yeah, it really wasn't that deep. You know what I mean? Like some of it was. Some of it really was that deep. And then some of it you realize when you look back on it that you really didn't have it figured out at all and you thought you did. And things that you really stood for so strongly kind of just worked themselves out on some level. And other things that maybe you should have paid attention to more, you didn't, you know? But you can't do anything about it in retrospect. I know that that was very, uh, what I just said, like, <laughs> like <laughs> ambiguous. But what I mean is, like, you know, there were, like, back in the day, I don't know, there were things that I felt very strongly about, you know? And I look back on it, and I, th I think to myself, I didn't even know what I was talking about, you know? People comment on here that, like, I say all the time, you know, and does that make sense? Can you just imagine being in my real life? Like, I say that a hundred times more in my real life. It's just something, I, I don't know where I got it from. I don't know why I say it. It drives me just as crazy as it does you. I wish I didn't say it. But you know what Tanya said to me one time? Um, we had this friend of ours that was, like, uh, in recovery, and she was much younger than Tanya. And she corrected Tanya like all the time. And Tanya had finally had it at one point. And Tanya said to her, <clears throat> the girl said, you know, I just wanted, I, you're incorrect with how you're saying it. And Tanya said, you know what's worse than my uh, incorrectly uh, pronouncing this word? She looked at her and she goes, what? And she goes, correcting somebody. She goes, it's rude, you shouldn't do it. <laughs> it's true, you know? So anyway, okay, well listen to this. <laughs> Take that, run with it if you must. Um, I am at 60, come on, hit 67. 67, can we do 67? Can, can you give me a 67? Come on, I'm at 66. 67, 67, 67. Once I hit 67, I'm gonna go. Until then, I'm not, I'm just gonna dance. I'm just gonna dance. 67! Good, because it's like the sun is like coming in on me. Um, I will be back in a little while. I wanted to vlog a little bit during the day today, so I did my hair and everything today. I had a blue flannel shirt on, but I had to change because it was so hot. All right, I'll see you guys later. Okay, I'm back. Best Buy actually did not have any Canon batteries, but can I just tell you what is right over here that I forgot was over here? You ready? The Tesla store. I have always wanted to test drive a Tesla. Maybe I will uh, do that for my review channel. Maybe I'll go in there and test drive a uh, Tesla. Wouldn't that be kind of fun? I've never done that before. I wonder if they would like, well, I guess I could take Alex or somebody with me and they could just film it while I do it. Ugh, that's sticky stuff on my hands. So I walked around. We need a new microwave, so I looked. Microwaves are actually not very expensive. They're only like between $100 and $200 for nice microwaves. Um, and I looked around at some other stuff too. I'm kind of wondering if like Best Buy is going out of business because um, they had like paper, like they had just printed them off and taped them, printed them off and taped them everywhere. Like 
Oh my God, the whole Toys R Us parking lot is all Tesla too. It, the Toys R Us is obviously closed, but then there was like Tesla over there, um, cars. But like in Best Buy, everything was, like they had 10% off if you open a credit card, 10% off if you open a credit card. And it was packed, it's always packed when I go in there, so I'd be surprised if they're going out of business, but everything was marked down and it just was real weird. So anyway, um, I actually ran into this guy that I went to high school with and he and I played tennis together when we were like really younger, like really younger, much younger. Um, we played tennis together like in elementary and in junior high school. And then he really, he lived really close to me. Um, like the whole time that we were growing up. He was a year younger than me. Real nice guy. Anyway, he was like real friend. He was like, hey, how are you? And I was like, good, how are you? And he was like, oh my God. He was like, we both look exactly the same except we put on weight and our hair's right. <laughs> He's still real good looking. Um, real sweet guy, really nice guy. So anyway, we stood there and talked for a couple minutes. But anyway, that's kind of Indiana. <laughs> You run into people all the time that you know. I don't know why I took the remote out of here, the back of here, but there it is. And Alex just texted me and said that they're walking around the mall and my vlog is currently uploaded at 5% and it says I have five hours, one hour, 51 minutes. It goes back and forth remaining until it's uploaded. <sighs> Sometimes it goes really fast when I upload it on my phone and other times it takes forever. So we'll see. I'm also uploading it on the computer at home, but it was moving real slow. So now I'm running to the Meyer, and um, I'm gonna get I was listening, ooh, I was listening to a little Bob Dylan. Um, I'm going to get some hand sanitizer because this hand sanitizer is a lot. And I because it's orange smelling, I smell like oranges all the time. like that. I don't dislike smelling like an orange. <laughs> but I mean, there are other things that I prefer to smell like, like the cologne that I wear. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh... And then I'm going to run home and I'm going to make some videos. I'm going to do... Um, I'm gonna read the meditations that I read off of success.org or success magazine or whatever that magazine was that I read today for my soulful Sundays on Peterisms. And then I'm thinking about maybe doing another magazine video today. I was gonna do my response to Tana Mojo's video where she it's called Cleaning Things Up and just was like, you know what? I'm not really feeling that today. I don't really feel like making a drama drama video today. So I think I'm just gonna do a magazine video because I actually went and I bought The Examiner. Um, I went to Walmart. That, that was the reason I actually went the other day specifically was to buy The Examiner because I knew they would have it. Um, because it has the Sheila Wood Friendship Club in there and I was like, I'll just save it for some time this week, but I kind of feel like doing it today. So I may do that today and just put out a fun video under there. And then I'm gonna do a book vlog, actually, once I leave going to the Meyer, um, because I'm gonna go into Half Price Books and get some. I'm gonna look at scary books for Halloween. Scary books for October, because October starts next week. And, well, I think it does. Yeah, next weekend, I think, is the 1st of October. So, um, I wanna have all my scary books planned and ready for October. My October TBR to be read. Well, next Sunday is the 30th because that's when we're doing the live stream over um, that Douglas Adams book for the, the book club. So, anyway, how are you guys doing today? Did you have a nice weekend? Did you do anything fun? If you did, leave it in the comment section below. I just like tweeted out what I would like about the face mask and all that stuff earlier before I before I tweeted it out before we went to brunch. And so many people were like, oh, I'm going to the casino with my husband, or I'm doing this, or I'm doing that. Um, you know what? There's actually something that I need to do on this vlog. I'm gonna wait and pull in here in just a second and park and I'll do it. I 
gonna do a little shout out to somebody on here. Which, stopping the uploading to get into my phone to do a shout out is always scary because it might go back and not upload the video. But it, the it's the chance I'm gonna take. It's the chance I'm gonna take because I've been meaning to do this for two days and I keep on forgetting. So I wanna do it while I'm remembering. somewhere to go okay this would be a perfect place for like do you ever just like go oh this would be like a really nice place place for a picnic look right here wouldn't that be such a nice place for a picnic all right shout out the shout out yes <laughs> it just balanced itself back out okay I'm actually at 20% uploading it so I want to go in here what did he say back to me when I'm trying to upload my video, my phone loop moves like super, super slow. I love the sound of the cars just going by. Come on. Oh, it's not. Somebody told me to listen to Halloweenies. It's an in-depth documentary po podcast about Michael Myers. I'm going to do that. But, um... This one's for you, Kate. Kate Murphy Collins. I had a dream you said my name, read a, one of my comments on your vlog, and I like, cry happiness. When I saw that, I was like so happy. I was like, okay, now please let it still be uploading. Yep, 21%. Okay. I was so excited that I, when I saw that. <laughs> so I was like, okay, Kate, I have to do a little shout out for you. That is so sweet. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. I love reading the comments on my vlogs, and I love hearing people say, like, oh, I fall asleep to Peter's vlogs at night, or, you know, like, I listen to him as I'm doing, like, housework or making dinner, and in some kind of weird way, like, I don't know, like, it's weird to me, like, when people say to me, like, if I ever talk to people and they're like, I love your vlog, I'm like, okay, what is it about my vlog that you love so much, or whatever, you know, and they're like, I don't know, it's just like I'm sitting there talking to my, like, good friend, my best friend, and it's like, I just live, like, such a, like, normal, honestly, very boring life, and I just happen to be this guy that makes YouTube videos, you know, and I feel like my vlog is just kind of that, and... I don't know. I think that's why I just enjoy it so much is it's kind of just like talking to somebody else, you know? So, as I'm driving around, you guys are like really like my passenger that I'm sitting here talking to, so it's fun. I cannot believe how beautiful it is. There's honest to God not a cloud in the sky today. Like not anywhere. At Fish and Fishers at that Connor Perry place that I was talking about, they do like balloon, like, uh, what are those big balloons? You know, excuse me, you can get in them. And they have ones that go just up and down, up and down. But then usually, like on a Sunday or Saturday afternoon, you can also see like hot air balloons, that's hot air balloons. You can see them like all across, like the sky on the north side of Indianapolis. I think they're beautiful, but they scare the hell out of me. Isn't that, I mean, like I would never want to be in one. Isn't it weird to think that like, I don't know, I was like very intrigued with hot air balloons when I was a little kid. I thought they were cool. But I don't think you could ever get me in one. I have like a, a healthy fear of heights. Like I'm not terrified of them, but I also don't love them. Like I'm careful, <laughs> like I don't know if that makes sense. Like I wouldn't sit on like the edge of a hundred foot tall building and just chance it like I, I would never do that but at the same time like I'm not scared of heights if that makes sense like I don't know how to explain it any better than that but like I kind of like to keep my feet firmly planted on the ground I don't love to fly I do it because I mean I'm not gonna not go places and miss out on stuff Last night when I was driving, 
driving. Okay, last night when I was driving, this was so weird. I took a completely different route, and I was like, I want to go somewhere I've never gone before. And this is when I, after I got done vlogging, and I was listening to like my audiobook. So I like drove from the north side of Indianapolis to um, up to Anderson. It took me like a half an hour on side roads, and I went through all of these small towns, you guys, and. I have never seen this part of Indianapolis before. It was like I went through like, um, I mean, I've gone through like smaller parts of town before, like when I used to go to uh, like assessments back in the day. But this was like a part that I had never been to before. It was like 67 or 36, this road I didn't even know existed. And it went through like all of these cities in Indianapolis, like Lapel and Fortville and uh, Ingalls and all these towns. And there's, they were adorable. They were all these cute little towns. That, I mean, like, the main street areas of it were adorable that I saw. And there was this, uh, there was this dog grooming place, and it was called Dog on Cute. <laughs> and it was, like, cute hair grooming for dogs or something like that. I was like, oh, my God, I love this so much. I would love to know the person that owns Dog on Cute hair, hair groom or dog grooming. Doesn't take much to make me happy. Man, the movie theater sure is dead today. It must be because it's so nice outside. Uh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> he just was leaping right on out. It must be because uh, it's so nice outside today. People are probably like, it's like one of the last nice days of the year before it starts getting real cold. I kind of prefer to go outside more when it's cool outside. Do you guys? All right, well, I'm pulling into the mire, so I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to... Um, Get some hand sanitizer, Mrs. Myers, and then um, I probably won't vlog until later because I've already vlogged like over a half an hour and I know that some people like it when I vlog at night, so I'm going to do a little bit of both. So I probably won't vlog until later tonight. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Who knows? What do you guys like? Do you like a mixture of all of it? Do you like it just when I do it at night? Do you like it when I show all kinds of things? Do you like it when I have people in them? What do you like? Tell me. What's your story, Morning Glory? Did I really get um, Princess Parking that close? Did you guys ever call it Princess Parking back in the day? I literally got a uh, parking space so close. You know, not that the walking would hurt me because I could really use to walk a little bit, but. I said I was going to do, like, a guided meditation today, and, or yesterday, and I didn't do that. So, maybe I'll do that today when I get home, depending on what Alex is doing. Maybe Alex will want to take a walk. All right, you guys. I will be back in just a little while. Bye. I have no idea what happened. It just, like, stopped for no reason. Did I, was I even filming it before? I have no clue what just happened. So, I hope I was filming it before. But anyway, I just went to Meyer. <laughs> I don't know if I should start over again. I bought Mrs. Meyer's hand sanitizer and it's $3.49 and I like it because it's dry. And there, that's a review. Um, but anyway, so I was looking around at candles because I have this candle warmer in my kitchen and um, it's the kind that you have a, like a lamp that goes over it and then you put the candle underneath it, you don't burn it or anything and it just like, I, and I, I really like it. So I was looking for another candle because right now we have in there like cotton. It was this nest candle. I can't remember who sent it to me, but it's fantastic. And our whole house like, those things work so good. They smell really, really good. So then I was looking at the men's clothes. They have like this Justin Timberlake brand. I don't know what the brand is called. It's called something else. It's like some guy's name. But the clothes are like really, really cute. Well, they have this blue like zip up jacket for fall. I may go back and get it. And, um, cause I don't have a lot of fall jackets. Um, that fit me comfortably right now. That fit me comfortably. I have a lot of jackets, but not that fit me comfortably. Um, so it's called some brand, but it's like Justin Timberlake and somebody else. And then they, they have this brand. The jacket's $125 marked down to 20. Like what? So anyway, I didn't get it. But um, they did have, this is like my favorite brand at Meyer, which I know is so corny, but it's called Edward and Ash, I think. Um, Edgar and Ash. And their stuff fits me so well, but it's like really cute and affordable too. So, you know, I, I love hoodies. I wear hoodies all through the fall and winter. So they have this hoodie and it's like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like, it comes up to like here, it's real high collared. And then the sides, do you see, are cut out. I don't know if you can see this, but like, 
Do you see? It's like cut. See, like this, and then it's. So it was $35 and it was marked down to 21. And it's really thick and it's really high end quality. It's nice. So I got that. Like everything of theirs that I bought, the Edward and Ash brand, um, I bought a couple of their t shirts before I've gone on vacations and stuff. I've really liked. And it washes and stays like the same. Like this is an extra large. It washed and I tried it on in there and it fits perfectly. Um, it stays like the same size when you wash it. Like it doesn't shrink in the washing machine and stuff like that. So I'm excited about that. Got two little new things. And of course I saw other kinds of stuff at there that I would love to have, but I don't need it. I was looking at the candles, that's what I was gonna say, because I wanted like a fall smell. Um, but the candles, like the Yankee candles, I just think Yankee candles are so expensive and I don't think that they really like put off that great a scent. So I'm thinking about going to Bed Bath & Beyond, but not today, because I'm ready to kind of just start relaxing for, I mean, relaxing from what, going to Meyer. Anyway, all right, you guys. I will see you in a little while. Goodbye. Hello, I'm back. Somebody I noticed said in the comment section that I need to clean my windows. I know, I've been needing to clean them forever. I promise I'll do that this week. Um, so thank you for reminding me. Uh, I'm heading over to my mother-in-law's because everybody went over there tonight. And Alex went ahead of me because I was like uploading my videos. And uh, he came home after hanging out with his best friend for a couple minutes. And yeah, so now I'm headed over there and it's just been kind of a lazy Sunday. It is absolutely beautiful outside. The sunset was like, on once, like, it was like orange and then like it turned and it was like pink and blue and it looked like cotton candy. And it was just absolutely beautiful tonight. You can see it's kind of like, do you know what it reminds me of? Like, you know in the original Halloween movie, which by the way, for $39.99, you can buy the entire movie collection on DVD or blue, maybe it's Blu-ray, I think, actually, um, at Best Buy of the entire Halloween franchise. And it has, like, all of the, the movies that have been put out so far, and then it has Rob Zombie Halloween 1 and Rob Zombie Halloween 2. Um, I think that's actually a pretty good buy, so I'm thinking about getting it, maybe, just to have it. But, um... Do you know what it reminds me out, like, right now? It's like, do you remember when Annie picks up uh, Lori Strode at the beginning of Halloween to, like, go babysitting? And it's like this outside. Like, this is what it, the weather is like exactly that outside. Although, it was supposed to be Haddonfield, Illinois, but it was really, pa it was really Pasadena. If you watch the movie, I don't want to ruin it for you, but there's so many mistakes in it. You can actually see palm trees, like, in the distance. Back in the day, that barometric pressure affects because I have like it's like uh, pressure in my head, 
Um, so I don't know if that's it, but like, it's beautiful outside. Oh God, you guys, I wish I could show you the sky right now. It is so gorgeous over there. Um, maybe you can see it as the, can you see it a little bit as the camera turns? Um, yeah, you can see it a little bit in the window, but, uh, like it's been a little bit worse today than usual. I took some leave earlier and it's not really helping me. Sometimes when I wear sunglasses, like right here, like cause you know the sunglasses, it like it hurts a little bit. I haven't seen my nep nephews in a while. I'm excited about seeing them. Carlos and Liliana brought the kids over and then Alex's mom and grandma and his uncle are over there. And then I think Alex's friend Sarah is going to just move back here. I think because when she dropped him off, I went out and I talked to her for a second. And she was like, um, she was like, you're going over there, aren't you? And I said, yeah. And she goes, okay, I was thinking about going over there too. And um, she was like, but I wanted to see if you were going to go over. Um, she was like, if you were going to go over, I was going to go. And I was like, okay, Sarah, I don't know why, what that, what that means. <laughs> but okay, we'd love to have you over there, you know. Alright, you guys, listen, I'm going to get off here, and I will uh, come back later after I visit with them for a while. Bye. Okay. I'm leaving my mother-in-law's house. It was fun. It's there for about an hour and a half. Oh, turn the music off. The kids were wound up tonight. Sarah had brought her, um, what is this? Hmm. Sarah had brought her, uh, dog over, Callie. She's a little pug. She's so cute. And, um, the kids were, like, throwing <laughs> the cat toy around and Callie was chasing after it. They were having fun with the dog, and the dog, was, the dog was having so much fun running around. We just sat on the couch and talked and caught up. I walked in, and it was like all these people um, that are like family friends, but they all left um, pretty much right after I got there. And then we stayed for a while, and then um, Lillian and Carlos had to get the kids home to go to, I guess I didn't stay an hour and a half. I don't know what time I got there. I have no idea what time I got there. Well, I texted Alex at eight that I was leaving to go, and it's 9.33, so I guess I was there about an hour. Um, But Lilian and Carlos had to get go home and get the kids to bed because they said they usually get the kids in bed by about nine. I don't know how I find my way through this neighborhood that his mom's moved into, but I I can always find my way there, but I can never find my way out. So anyway, but it was fun. It was really today was like such just a peaceful, nice day of just like hanging out and brunch and. such a good day. I had so much fun doing that magazine video. I kind of feel like I was supposed to go that way. but um, I did a magazine video on my Peter Mon channel and I had so much fun doing that. And um, yeah, it's just been a good day. I'm going to go home and I'm going to do a live stream. Um, I haven't done one for a couple days, so I'm going to do a live stream tonight and Alex is going to watch an episode of Coven upstairs, he said. I was like, do you care if I do a live stream downstairs? He's like, no babe, not at all. So, and his friend Sarah, who like, she like, like they guested one night with me because he was with at her mom's house. I think that was at, around Christmas time. And she's like, well, I'll be watching it tonight. <laughs> I was like, okay. She's like, well, I downloaded that app just for you. So I'll be watching it. I was like, okay. And then tomorrow I'm going to have brunch with my cousin at 1.30. And... Yeah, that's kind of it.
we're going to this place called um, Loose Cafe. It's really cute. I think, I, I do not believe it's a franchise. I think it's just locally owned. And, um, it's this little restaurant in a strip mall, but like when you go in there, it's like they have um, all kinds of, I'm kind of excited. I haven't been there in a long time. They have like salads and sandwiches, but then they also have like biscuits and gravy and pancakes and stuff like that. And like every table is set different because they have like, you know, salt and pepper shakers from this and salt and pepper shakers from there. And then they have like all this local artwork like on the wall and you can actually, and then they have like those, you know, those sayings that you can like, those little, those boards that have like quotes and stuff on them that you can buy at like Walmart and Meyer and stuff like that and Target. They have those like on the wall and everything that in this, everything in the restaurant you can buy. Like it has a price tag on it and it's real cheap. It's like, if you like a salt and pepper shaker, you know, that are like, I don't know, like, a president and first lady or something, you can buy them for, like, $2.99 or $1.99 or something. They have price tags on the bottoms of them. Their coffee is really, really good there. It's actually right across the street from Cafe Patashu. But Alex doesn't really like it because he loves the, um, he always gets the, what do you call it, uh, the Cuban breakfast at um, Patashu. And they don't really have anything like, they mostly, like, the things that he gets there are salads and we get a Ruth Cafe. Cafe. And we don't usually go unless we go with people that really, really like it. So, we don't go that often. But, I'm doing that tomorrow. Like, Caroline was so funny. She was, like, texting me and she's like, do you want to go to Ruth's Cafe? And I was like, sure. And she goes, or Mexican or P.F. Chang's. <laughs> I was like, those are some kind of strange, like, different options. <laughs> like, how did you come up with all three of these? Like, okay, brunch or Mexican or P.F. Chang's. I was like, let's do Ruth's. I haven't been to P.F. Chang's in forever. We go to, um, I think they're owned by the same company. We go to, oh, what's the carryout called that Alex loves? They're both of them expensive, but we used to go to P.F. Chang's back in the day so much. I think those, I know people always get upset when I say this, but I think those lettuce wraps are a waste of money. I just don't like those lettuce wraps. I know people love them, but um, we used to go there. Alex and I used to go there all the time because it's real close to our house. Um, but we haven't been to P.F. Chang's in forever. Payway. Payway is the one that's like carry out. I mean, you can eat it in there too, but it's basically like P.F. Chang's, but carry out. They have like almost the exact same menu. And Alex loves the, uh, and I can get like a veggie fried rice. Alex loves the Mongolian beef and the Dan Dan noodles. And that's what he gets. And then he like eats half of it and then he takes the rest of it to work the next day or the day after, you know. Their portions are huge. But P.F. Chang's is expensive. Payway is expensive, too. So we don't do that anymore. We haven't been... I can't remember the last time that I was at P.F. Chang's. It was fun just sitting around tonight talking to his family. And, um... The kids were telling us what they're going to be for Halloween. So this will change 50 times between now and Halloween. But... Um, so, and I guess this is like Liliana is helping out with this. So, uh, Sebast Carly Carlitos and Sebastian are going to be Mario and Luigi <laughs> from Mario Brothers. And their mom, Liliana, is going to be Princess P. Is that not so hilarious? That's going to be so cute. I mean, I'm sure it's been done a thousand times. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it's the most original idea in the entire world. They get along so well, those two brothers. Like, they play, and they are, like, they get along so well. They were both of them just chasing the dog, and they were both so sweet to the dog, and... Carlos is so funny, my brother-in-law. He's like, so, you know, they got Carlitos in baseball, because uh, Carlos used to play baseball for, like, a farm team in Venezuela. He's really good. And so, like, when Carlos was, like, two and a half, three, they started getting him in, in like, private lessons of baseball, okay? Private lessons, like, let's be for real. Two and a half or three. And now Carlitos is, like, in a league. And Carlos, like, coaches the league. So, anyway, they started... I, I was, like, um... Because Carlitos is in kindergarten now. And I was saying to Liliana, I was, like, do you have a lot of time, like, just with Sebastian during the day and whatever? Like, what is your day so different now? And she's, like, well, Sebastian started school, too. And I was, like, what do you mean? And she was, like, ask Carlos. He signed him up for this class. So, they have... 
Sebastian in this like sports training class. Okay, he's gonna be three in January. And I go, and, and Carlos is like, oh, he's like, dude, he's so athletic, he's so athletic. I go, he's not even three yet, Carlos. He goes, do you guys know parents like this? <laughs> Dude, he's so, he's so athletic. Liliana tell him, and she's kind of rolled her eyes. I go, what does he do, like, in these sports classes? And he's like, dude, they do all kinds of sports. It's like sports training for when they're older. And I was like, like what? And he's like, they, like, jump. <laughs> so, he's telling me all this stuff that they're doing, right? So, Liliana, it's just like, you can tell, she's like, this is so silly. But she's like, and she told me, she goes, it, he, it, it does keep him active, so it's good for that. Like, it keeps him active until we can get him like in school next year. And so she like hands me her phone and it's like this video and it's literally like this circle. It's a private lesson, okay, that Sebastian goes to. And he like walks around in a circle and he follows like his coach and there's like these bases set up and then she goes like this and then he goes like this and then they walk around like and then she'll say jump and then he <laughs> jumps. I mean, it's real sweet, but it's like, are you serious? And. Carlos is like, he needs to be involved in something. He needs to be, he needs to be doing something. And I agree with that. Like, I think it's good for kids to be involved in something. But seriously, come on, you know? Carlos is like that dad that, like, he really wants one of his kids to be, like, a serious sports star, you know? But at the same time, like, you know, he was, like, laying on the couch. And they're both, like, cuddled around him. And he's, like, reading them a book. And tonight, and he's a very good father. Fun. We had a good night. I got there and they had just eaten. I haven't been hungry. We went to brunch. I've been like full since brunch. And um, Alex's mom was like, do you want something to eat? And I was like, no, I'm completely full. I don't think I can eat anything else. So now I'm going to go home and do a live stream. I feel like you guys on this vlog today have been past the same place like three times. Like here, I'm passing Ma Ma <laughs> Maggi. I'm passing Maggiano's again. Oh, here's Ruth's Cafe right here. I don't know if you can see it, but see, it says Ruth's Cafe. Anyway, that's where Caroline and I are going tomorrow. All right, you guys, listen, I'm going to get off here and um, listen to a little music, a little Bob Dylan. I'm kind of going spurts where I listen to the same thing over and over and over again, but... And I will come back for the last half of this vlog. Bye. Hello. Don't want this to stop. Okay. Um, just left the house. It is 11.37. It's a little earlier for me tonight to vlog. Um, did a live stream. I'm using my new Mrs. Meyers Lavender hand sanitizer. Um... I did a live stream. It was fun. We talked about all kinds of scary movies and oh, we talked about pumpkin spice stuff and just kind of fall and like it was not a whole lot, you know, just all that. It was fun. It was really fun. So anyway, and then I got off the live stream and Alex and I um, took the dogs out and um, it's a beautiful evening. It's cool in Indianapolis right now. It's 63 degrees and it's like perfect temperature tonight. And then we gave PB his medicine, and then Alex went to bed. He has to be up real early tomorrow. So I was like, well, I'm gonna go vlog now, and then um, I'm gonna listen to some of my audiobook, the Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, because I'm really wanting to finish it. I wanna finish it, because I want to um, watch the movie. I'm really excited to watch the movie. Okay, but first, there's some very serious business that we need to attend to. Do you guys know what that is? Yes. We need to go get a Diet Coke. <laughs> I need to go get a Diet Coke first. <laughs> I'm kind of making this like a ritual on my vlogs now because I have so much fun going through there now every day. And <laughs> you might ask yourself, does he or doesn't he? And the answer would be he does. <laughs> he has put together enough change for a Diet Coke, a <laughs> dollar eight at that McDonald's. <laughs> And then I have a surprise for you guys. <laughs> we, I have a surprise. I don't want to talk about it yet, but I have a surprise. So you'll have to just wait and see the surprise. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's so silly. Oh gosh. 
what a good day it's been, you know? Just such a great day. Just so, and just so simple, you know? Like, I was reading, oh, well, Love to Love Em, who I had done the whole Peterisms video about, about how she makes costumes for her niece and, or her nephew and then her cousin's um, daughter. She was in my live stream and I was like, have you watched my Peterisms video lately? And she was like, no, and I was like, I made a whole video based on your comment. So I was like showing the comment. It was so funny because I started laughing, like watching myself. When I, sometimes when I watch my videos back, not even when I'm saying something funny, but I'm just like, oh my God. Get to the point, Peter, get to the point. Um, I mean, some of the things that you guys think, I, I think the same thing, okay? <laughs> so anyway, so if you're on the live stream, you know what I'm talking about. I was like literally like showing like the, the phone like that. And um, <laughs> yeah, I have like a real basic the moon or what is that it's the earth <laughs> I don't even know the difference between the moon and the earth but I had um, but I was like showing the, the video and I was like okay okay get to the point of what I was trying to say here but anyway um, I was thinking about that like afterwards like Alex and I were kind of talking and stuff and um, you know we were talking about like my nephews and like what they want to be for Halloween and they get so excited about it and um, like Carlitos was like teasing Sarah, Alex's friend, because she was over there too. And I could tell that she was like real tired and she was just, I mean, she, she's, it's been a long week for her looking for houses and stuff like that. So she was sitting there, she was being so sweet. Um, but I said, Carlitos, I said, you better be very good. I said, cause Christmas is coming up. And he was like, <laughs> but anyway, Alex and I were talking about all that and I was like, cause that video that I had done on Peterisms was called That's Life. And it's really, I was reading this comment about how excited her nephew got, this love to love him, Heather. Hey, Heather. Um, how excited her nephew got, um, she said her name was Heather tonight, that's how I know that, um, about this wig that she had made him for the Jack Sparrow co costume. And I, so the whole video was really about me just talking about like, we all need reminders of like what life is really all about, that we get consumed with all this kind of other stuff that it's like really not about that. It's just, it's not, you know, it's about, a kid getting excited on Halloween or hanging out with our family, like me going having brunch with my cousin tomorrow. You know, I'm really excited about that. I haven't seen her in a while. And it's really just all about that kind of stuff, you know? And, um, is it just that it's not that deep or is it that that's the deep stuff, you know? So anyway, yeah. I was thinking today when they were talking though, like when I was growing up, like costumes were so important to me. And I've talked about that I think on here before, but like we make, we handmade like all of our costumes. I think like maybe one or two years, um, like I had like store-bought costumes, but usually um, we always made them. Like, and I would always do them with somebody else, like a friend, um, <laughs> if I had a friend, but it was usually like a family friend. Like my mom's friend, the one that we went to Beaver Island with, like her daughter, like she and I dressed up like many years together because like her mom and her would always come over to our house for Halloween. Or my cousin Caroline and I would dress up together. So it wasn't like a, like a friend friend. There might be like one or two years in there that it was, but. Um, I was thinking back on the costumes that I used to, and you know, my dad's a doctor, so I would always like, typically there would always be some kind of like <laughs> medical theme to them, you know, like patient, doctor. I mean, they were not real deep costumes. They just weren't. Do you guys have friends of yours that like go all out on Halloween, like still to this day? I had this friend of mine that I've known since I was like, well, we became friends because we went on a date and then we just decided that it would be better if we were friends. I've talked about him on here before, but he used to make the most elaborate costumes ever. Like he one year went as this guy caught in the wind and he had like all this stuff, stuff like, this is actually a great costume if you're looking for a good costume. He wore like a suit and then like he had like, uh, Hang, like wire hangers like inside making the suit go like it was blowing that way and his tie was blowing that everything was blowing this way and then he had like paper stuck to him that was blowing that way and like a cup that was on him so it looked like all of, it literally looked like the wind was hitting him it was awesome it was the coolest thing and he one year went as the Scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz. He looked exactly like him. My mom used to, back in the day, she used to have these parties. I mean, they were never like 20 people. I mean, it, it was just close friends and family. So 10, 15 people, you know? And she would call them um, 
come as you aren't parties. She had these imitations. I don't know where she found them, but she, I swear to God, she must have had like 500 of them because she used the same imitation every year over and over and over again. And they said like, um, come as you aren't on them to get it like Halloween theme parties. And then she would have like eyeball stew. <laughs> <laughs> and she would have like the things all out and it would like she would have like uh, punch you know eyeball punch that's what it was and she would have like you know red fruit punch and we didn't you know because we didn't drink so it'd be like r red fruit punch you know I mean my mother went all out I mean she had the table with like you know the Halloween you know what do you call it um, what do you call it oh shoot tablecloth and then that she'd fold up every year and use and um, then she'd have like you know the big thing where you could ladle out the, the fruit punch and she'd have in front of it you know like eyeball punch and then there'd be like eyeballs floating in it <laughs> and then she'd have like cheese and stuff and then she'd say and it would have like these fake fingers that were like cut off and it would say finger food <laughs> It was so much fun. And Caroline, my cousin, she loved it. Because, like, every year, that was, like, my mom's thing to host that she would do. And then my cousin started doing it. My cousin would have a big chili dinner. And last year, she didn't do it. She was like, it's just too much with my dad being sick and my mom being gone and stuff. And, and I totally get that. So I'm kind of hoping she'll do it this year, but I don't think that she will. We'll probably go over to um, Alex's uh, brother's house anyway because the kids... And Halloween is on a Wednesday this year. A couple people have told me that in the comment sections, but also just, I looked. <laughs> I think it's on a Wednesday. Now that I'm saying that, I'm like, is it? But if it's on a Wednesday, like that's a day that Alex can get off early, so, um, and be home early, so that'll be good so we can get. Trick or treating starts so early, doesn't it? My God, it starts at like, like four in the afternoon. And then like back in the day, do you remember like if trick or like trick or like Halloween was on a, let's say like a, like a Monday or a Sunday, we would like trick or treat the whole weekend, the whole weekend. And then I remember when they stopped that and now like every city has its like rules and stuff. My dad, the reason we used to trick or treat like the whole weekend was because my dad um, and mom, when they were growing up, they did that. Like, and my dad is from Fort Wayne, Indiana. And so he would, you know, like that whole weekend, they would do all kinds of stuff. Did you guys ever see that movie? We were talking about scary movies tonight in my live stream. Did you ever see that movie, The Lady in White? That movie was so good, but so creepy. I would love to see that movie. I haven't seen that movie in forever. I remember the music was really, really creepy in it. I took the coffee home from brunch today, and since then, well, I had a little bit of a Gatorade earlier. Um, I had like a leftover Gatorade from last night. That's what I think was drinking in here earlier. But since then, all I've drank is water today, which is great. I mean, yeah, of course it's great. But like, I am dying for Diet Coke. I'm actually, I'm dying for my good Judy to be home. I'm ready for Tanya to get home. And we keep on missing each other on the phone. I'm ready for her to be home so we can, um, she's gonna be so excited because all the magazine videos, I'm just gonna give her all the magazine because I've already read through them. And like each magazine video that I did, I actually bought two magazines. So I have four. I'm not doing another magazine video. It's like enough already, right? So I'm going to give her four magazines plus the examiner. She loves like those examiner. She believes those stories and like the examiner and the inquirer. Like Tanya buys those. Like she legit buys those and believes the stuff that they say in there. Time is, oh my God, 10 minutes already that I'm in. But she like really believes the stuff that are in those magazines. I'm always like, Tanya, why do you buy that stuff? She can sit on her couch for hours and watch reality shows and read, like, what is that Family Circle? Is that the other magazine, too? And Good Housekeeping. She loves all those magazines. She's always like, and we'll be sitting there, and I'll be, like, on the other couch or other part of the couch, and I'll hear, rip, and I'll be like, what is it, Tanya? And she'll be like, oh, a recipe I want to try. And then she's got a stack of all of these recipes that she wants to try that she never tries. Do you guys do that? <laughs> That's Tanya, okay? <laughs> A pot, and you can't throw it away. I'd be like, Tony, why don't you just throw Oh, no, 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 no. Those are my recipes. I'm going to try those one of these days. I'm like, you are not going to try those. Oh, yes, I am. Just wait. Just one of these days, I'm going to try them. I'm like, okay, Tanya. I love her so much. You know, to be so blessed to have a best friend for 22 years, over 22 years now, you know, that knows you inside and out and just would do anything for you, you know? Are you kidding me? Oh no, ma'am. This line is so long. Oh my god. I don't think I can do this tonight, you guys. I want to die in 
cook so bad. What is going on at McDonald's? Oh my God, you guys, look. Okay, first of all, look. They have three cars waiting. One, two, three, okay? All I want is a Diet Coke. They should have a Diet Coke line. <laughs> look at this. This is ridiculous. Look at this line for McDonald's. Oh my God, did some country music concert just get out? We're real close to the, uh, oh my God, this is crazy. Double laned too. Guess who's not getting a Diet Coke right now, Peter? No, 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 no. I don't need a Diet Coke. I mean, I want one, but my wants and my needs are separate. I'd be so pissed if I was that front car up there and all those people were behind me and they were like pulling out and they'd already got their fries and stuff. Hot fries! Do you know what else I would be even more pissed at? If I was working there right now and I had to deal with that line. Oh, God. So this is real close to a concert place. If you live in Indianapolis, you know, it's, it used to be Deer Creek, then it was Klipsch. I don't know what they call it now. It's, something, it's called something else now, but they have a lot of country concerts out there at this time of year. So I'm wondering if there was like some country concert out there. Oh, this thing is just keeps on rolling and rolling and rolling down here. This, I need, oh, it's because I don't have the remote. Because when I have the remote there, it doesn't roll. Is there any other place that's open that I can get a Diet Coke? I really don't like any place else. That's the thing though. Is Burger King open? No, it's closed already. Is Arby's open? No. The drama of it all, right? Oh well, I guess I wasn't meant to have a Diet Coke tonight. I guess I could have just gone through Steak and Shake, but then I would have wanted a shake. They have the best shakes in the entire world. So good. What is down here? I'm like trying to figure out like what's close to here that might. I mean, I legit could just go in somewhere and get a Diet Coke, couldn't I? Peter, are you just like so lazy? That Burger King is closed. What time does Burger King close? It's closed early. I'm not real big on Taco Bell's drinks, or I would go through Taco Bell. Do you guys like Taco Bell? I mean, I love Taco Bell, but I don't like their drinks. Their root beer sucks. Their Diet Pepsi is better than their Pepsi, and that's saying a lot. Are they closed right now? Are you kidding me? Is this why everybody is going through McDonald's? Because all these places are closed? Oh my God, if they're open, I'm so going through there. Oh no, I, they, are they closed? enough change. Why is everybody at the McDonald's and nobody is at this Taco Bell? This is crazy. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Alright, go ahead with the order please. Can I get a large diet Pepsi? Okay, would you like anything else with that? Nope, that's it. All right, large diet. That's gonna be two fifteen. Okay, thank you. Two dollars and fifteen cents. That is an upcharge of a dollar seven from McDonald's. Are you kidding me? And I don't even get what I want. It's not even Coke. It's Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll put this change in here and save it for tomorrow. At least there's no line. I wonder what that line is all about at McDonald's. Two pieces. How are you doing? I'm doing alright. There is like a line at McDonald's that is literally like a mile long. Where and they're at McDonald's and there's nobody here. I mean, you know how it's double lanes over there? Yeah. It's like both lanes all the way wrapped around the building. Oh, oh. We can go up Keep them moving, keep them moving, right? Yeah, there you go. Have a good one. That is crazy. That is so crazy. Well, I don't hate Diet Pepsi, but 
That's pretty good. It's crisp. I love friendly people, don't you? I was, when I was in fresh time, oh my God, look, everybody's coming over here now. They're about to get slammed because all the people from McDonald's are like, fuck this, <laughs> excuse my language. They're like, we're going to Taco Bell. See, they look, look, am I lying? You guys look, seriously, all these people are like pulling in there. <laughs> this is too funny, do you see? And now look, I just walked right through and now there's like this line at Taco Bell. <laughs> yep. Maybe I am the sharpest knife in the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I was in fresh time, and this woman behind me, she had these most beautiful, like, little rosebuds. They were so pretty. And um, I said to her, oh, the guy at the register was like, just the flowers. He was kind of rude to her. And he was like, just the flowers. And she was like, or he goes, are the just the flowers for you? And she's like, well, they're not for me, but yeah, this is the only thing I'm buying or something like that. And he goes, well, I didn't mean that. I just meant, are they your only purchase? And she was like, yeah. So anyway, and so I said, oh, they're really pretty. And she goes, yeah, they're not, they're not for me. And I said, oh, they're not. And she goes, no, they're for my son. He's going on his first date with a girl, his girlfriend. And um, she said, and so he, for, on the way to go pick her up, he forgot to buy her flowers earlier, so I'm doing it for him. And I said, oh, I said, that is so sweet. And so I was walk. I said, you're a good mom doing your son's work for him. <laughs> and so I was walking out, and as I was walking out, this kid, he was probably, I don't know, like 14, and his dad were walking in, and the kid was in a suit, and his dad, I said, oh, I said, I, I met your mom. She's picked out some pretty flowers for you, and then the dad just like lost it. He started laughing, and he was like, yeah, we have to do all of the work, and I was like, well, I said, at least he'll be presentable on his date, and he goes, that's all that matters, right? And you know, I just was like, it is so easy just to be so nice and friendly. Like, I just don't understand it. You know what I mean? Like, it just is so, so easy. I love friendly people. I really love friendly people. So, I had to get a Diet Pepsi tonight. I have to say that Diet Pepsi actually tastes pretty good. I might almost be, no, I was gonna say happier than a Diet Coke, but I, for me, do you know what is so weird? I was just thinking about that Coke Pepsi test back in the day. Like when I taste that, it like I can almost kind of like, do you remember those little cups? You go outside the uh, grocery stores and you do the, pe the Pepsi challenge. I think that's what it was called. And I would always, I would just want to do it every time my mom would be like, you've already done it. Because they would like, you couldn't, that you wouldn't know which one was which. And then you'd tell them which, I mean, you could put Coke and Pepsi. Like I could literally take about one eight hundredth of a sip and I could tell you what it was today. Couldn't you? I mean, Coke and Pepsi taste so completely different. It's like when people say Mr. Pip or Dr. Pepper and they're like, what's the difference? And I'm like, there is such a difference between, as, as a Dr. Pepper and a Mr. I like, I like both of them, but it's like Sierra Mist, Sprite, and 7-Up all kind of taste similar, but I have to say, I do love Sierra Mist the most. I think it goes for me, Sierra Mist, Sprite, and then 7-Up, but I used to listen, I used to drink 7-Up uh, a lot back in the day, <clears throat> and um, I used to drink, God, that Sprite remix. Do you remember when it came out and it tasted all like fruity Sprite? I like anything with a gimmick. I really do. I'm willing to try anything with a gimmick. <laughs> it's the truth of the nature all day long. So. I don't know what else to talk about, but I'm a vlogger. <laughs> when we went to dinner at our friend's house the other night, the ones that have the baby and they just moved in the house, like she started this blog not too long ago. And I, a blog, B-L-O-G, like you write it. And I said, how's your blog going? And she's like, oh, and her husband started laughing. I go, what's funny? And she's like, he makes fun of me because I don't, I started it, but I don't want to write on it. And I go, why not? And she's like, because everything I write sounds stupid. And I go, that's not true. And she's like, well, I don't really know what to write about. And I go, 
I go, well, why don't you write about stuff about like being at home all day long with the baby? Like, you know, you could write about like your favorite kind of diaper or favorite kind of formula or, you know, like how she takes a nap or this, you know, or you can take, you know, like toys that she really likes and things that you find funny and things you never knew about being a new, you know, mother of a newborn and all this kind of stuff. And she goes, oh, that's good. Could you write that down for me? I go, are you serious? She's like, yeah, I can't ever come up with anything. I said, just call me. I said, why don't you just write about what's going on with your day? She was like, yeah. She was like, I could be a mommy blogger. I go, well, what kind of blogger were you gonna be? And she goes, I don't know, I was just gonna do a lifestyle blog. And I go, well, what's a lifestyle blog these days? And she goes, I don't know, just stuff I like. I go, oh, okay. <laughs> She's so funny. So anyway. I think about that. Oh, because I said I was a blogger. What should I talk about? I am ready for Halloween. I am so, 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 so ready for Halloween. The spookiest time of the year. And Halloween. Do you know what that is on TV? I think it's on AMC. 30, 30 days, 31 days of scary movies. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I can't, oh, it's gonna stop. 30, 23, 37, 38, 39, 40. When's it gonna stop? When's it gonna stop? When's it gonna stop? When? <laughs> okay, I'm back. This is gonna be a really, really long vlog. Like, a really long vlog. <laughs> like, probably an hour and a half. <laughs> You're like, yes, Peter, we know. We've watched an hour and 15 minutes of it so far. I wonder truly how long it is gonna be, though. Well, I've been 24 minutes, and then I've probably done a half an hour before, like, during the day. So, it's like, I, I probably look like right almost at an hour right now. wonder like why this is gonna sound this is gonna be so silly okay but just go with me do you ever wonder why like you come up with your favorite holiday like you know when people are like what's your favorite holiday and you're like oh I just love Earth Day so much <laughs> but no like seriously like do you know do you wonder why like a certain holidays are your favorites like my mom's favorite holiday was always Easter but I think because of the religious idea of it all. And she loved like the holidays leading up to it, like Ash Wednesday, Monday, Thursday, you know, uh, Good Friday, Palm Sunday. She loved the stories behind all of it. She loved the songs and all that kind of stuff. And she would go to church on, you know, uh, Palm Sunday. And she loved to see the kids go, Hosanna, Hosanna with the palm leaves and stuff. She loved all that. So that was her favorite holiday. And then second probably would have been Christmas. I forever, Christmas Eve and Halloween were like a close tie. Like I love Christmas Eve so much. I just think it's such a mystical night. Um, and now being part of Alex's family, I, I think I love it even more than I did before because it's just like all new traditions. And their Christmas is all Christmas Eve. It's like not, you don't really do anything on Christmas day in their family. So it's all Christmas Eve and all the stories and all like the celebratory things you do is all Christmas Eve. So I do love Christmas Eve, but you know, with my mom being gone and now, especially in the last year or two, you know, my aunt being gone and then last year I didn't do anything with my cousin um, for Christmas Eve or Christmas day. It's just like, it feels different if that makes sense. And so, um, Yeah, I need to talk to Caroline about that tomorrow, too, because we're thinking about going to San Diego for Christmas, and I need to see what she's doing, because I don't want her to just be here all alone on Christmas. Um, but over time, like, I started, like, I always loved Halloween. I always loved it, right? But, like, over time, it became, I don't know, like, it's just such a fun holiday, I think, and um, I love the spookiness of it. I love the weather. I love autumn weather anyway. And so just like to have a holiday that goes along with that weather is, I don't, like I know that kind of sounds corny, but you know what I mean? Like the leaves blowing in the wind. And, and Indiana, like 
Indiana looks like what Halloween is supposed to look like. And what I mean by that is like when you see in the movies, you know, the, the leaves blowing down the street, you know, the, the trees changing colors and it being rainy and windy and stuff like that, or not rainy necessarily, but you know, pumpkins sitting out everywhere. I mean, that is Halloween in Indiana. That's exactly what it looks like. You know, Stranger Things, the, oh my God, is it coming back? Stranger Things, the TV show, like, that's supposed to take place in, like, southern Indiana. That is exactly what southern Indiana looks like. Like, by Bloomington, where Indiana University is. It looks exactly, exactly like Stranger Things on Netflix. Um, so, it is really, really pretty here, you know, like, around autumn. But then it depends on, like, what, like... Usually, the, the week of Halloween is the prettiest week in Indianapolis. But we've had some snow, too. Um, a couple years ago... We were over at Caroline's house. It must have been three or four years ago. I can't remember. But um, Caroline and I took a picture, and it was, like, snowing outside, and we were together. We, like, posted on Facebook, like, a, like it was snowing on us out there on Halloween. It doesn't usually snow on Halloween, but when I was growing up as a kid, there would be some Halloweens that would be so, so, so cold that you would have to wear long underwear underneath your costumes, or you would have to wear a coat. Now, of course, no, nobody wants to wear a coat with a Halloween costume. That's not any fun at all, is it? Do you guys have any idea what we're doing yet? It's a mystery. It's a mystery what we're doing. Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows but me. You guys are like, we all know, Peter. We all know exactly what you're doing right now. Anyway, this is a nursing home right here, but it looks like apartments. And I think it looks so homey. I think I've talked about this on here before, but like when I drive by, you can like see into the apartments and it's like they have these big screen TVs and couches and stuff. And I just think like that's kind of homey, don't you think? And then like they can go eat dinner like down in like the cafeteria of all of them. Together. I would not mind that as I got older. You know you're getting older when you start thinking about living in a, like I'm not that person that's like, you're never taking me from my home. I'm like, <laughs> If I could sell my house and get asking price and live in some retirement home where I have my own apartment and I could go eat and play mango with people, I'd live. <laughs> Give it to me. I don't think I'd get my husband, who's 12 years younger than me, to go there. So, But it's not like he wants to push a, a wheelchair around forever. saying there's something pumpkin spice burpees. Could that be true? Is that like for real true? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe far away. Ooh, tone deaf tonight. Or maybe real nearby. I love this thing. They had a happy birthday thing, like, hanging in their windows. Happy birthday. Fly me to the moon. Happy days among the stars. I don't know the words. Jupiter and Mars, something about that. God, the moon is bright tonight. Do you guys see that? Can you see it at all, the moon? so bright. And it was like cloudy earlier today, but now it's not cloudy at all. You guys are like, it is? How bright is it? It's about that bright. <laughs> That's about how bright it is. Fly me to the moon. What if I got my own show in Vegas and I was like a Frank Sinatra impersonator? I wouldn't even want to do that. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff I'll say to Tanya. So, okay. Tanya and I have this joke. Like, do you guys have jokes with your friends? Like, personal jokes? Okay. So, Tanya and I... Do you guys know the song Cherry Bomb by John Mellencamp? Okay, I love John Mellencamp. I'm a huge John Mellencamp fan. But in the song Cherry Bomb, okay, there's a part where he says something, and you can't really understand what he says, but it sounds like he says, Chilla dog. <laughs> 
flannelly. It sounds, did I say flannelly today? Was that, oh my God, this vlog has been going on. It's been so long today. But anyway, there's this part in Cherry Bomb, and he, maybe he says chili dog, I don't know. But he just like, out of the blue, he goes, chili dog. <laughs> One night, Tanya and I were driving around. I started saying it to her, so now it's like this joke. I say chili dog to her like all the time. <laughs> the other thing is, this is how old we are that she'll like text me, and the text will say fountain question mark. That means fountain. Do you want to go get a fountain coat? Do you want to dance? Okay, it'll say like fountain question mark, and I'll say okay. Oh, no, then I'll say K, and then she'll message me back L. And then I message her back, M, and we go forever. That's how boring we are, you guys. <laughs> boring life of Peter Mon. The Diet Pepsi is not too bad. But you know why it's weird? I never drank the Diet Pepsi from Taco Bell. And I do think that certain um, fountain cokes, fountain, that's just kind of what I call everything, taste like like a root beer at one place, even if it's the exact same brand, will taste different at a different place. Do you, do you think that, that like a Diet Coke at McDonald's tastes different than like a Diet Coke at like White Castles or something like that? By the way, I always call White Castles the White Castles with an S. You have to put an S on White Castles. It's not... I know people are like, you're crazy. No, I put an S on the end of it and I call it White Castles. Back in the day, I called it Whitey Castile. But anyway, because it just made it sound more fancy, see, like that. Like when people would call Target, Target, that drove me nuts. I hated that. But anyway, um, it doesn't taste the same. It doesn't. Every, every drink at White Castle, the White Castles, it totally tastes flat. Don't you think? Have you ever been to White Castles? I love them. I do love them. People are like, oh, that's drunk food because the, they're sliders. Oh, my God, I love White Castles. I could probably eat about 15 of them. They now have veggie White Castles, and I haven't been there. I like, since they just put them on the menu, like, back in the day, you could ask for them, but, like, you know, I think I actually, maybe I did that on a vlog. I, like, drove through there, and I got them, and I had, like, one veggie burger, and it was really, really good, but the next day, my stomach hurt so bad because I got, uh, mozzarella sticks. Their mozzarella sticks were so good, and I got onion rent, or onion chips. Oh, their onion chips with that zesty sauce. I love it, but that food is so greasy. It just messed with my stomach so bad. Fly me to the moon. But now, they're like advertising that they have these, this is what I was talking about, that they have these veggie burgers. Tanya the other day was like, well, now you can go back to uh, White Castles because they have veggie burgers. And she's like, I know how much you love White Castles. And I was like, I do, but like, it's so greasy, it makes me sick to my stomach. And she's like, yeah, but you could probably try those. I mean, not healthy veggie burgers at all, I'm sure. Fly me. So anyway, why was I talking about that? I don't know. Oh, about how different, like, pops taste different at different places. Isn't that weird? But it's the truth. It really does. What's your go-to pop order when you go somewhere? Or is it different in each place? Oh, what I was going to say was, when I taste this Diet Pepsi, because it tastes different to me, it makes me think like I'm sitting there eating Taco Bell. Like, it almost kind of smells like Taco Bell to me because it's diet, the Diet Pepsi from Taco Bell. Maybe it's just like triggering, it's like psychosomatic or something, you think? <sighs> I'm so ready to read some scary books. I'm gonna go tomorrow and I'm gonna start looking at some scary books that I wanna read in October. I've got a couple already. I've got the Hocus Pocus book. Do you have the Hocus Pocus book? You can get it at Target. And what it has is it has Hocus Pocus, like the, the original like movie in it. So it has that whole story. But then it goes forward 25 years later. And then you get to find out what happened 25 years later with Hocus Pocus. Which I really do think they're coming out with a sequel. And I'm really excited about it. I'm so excited about it. If they do. I mean, I don't know that you do, but... Why would they come out with a book and they wouldn't come out with a sequel to the movie? Bette Midler said she would do it, and Kathy and Jimmy said she wouldn't, and like uh, Sarah Jessica Parker said she would. One of them said they wouldn't do it, which is why they're like they haven't done. It. Why would you say that? Like, if you love your fans and fans are asking for it, why wouldn't you do it? If it just is something that would make people happy, who wouldn't want a Hocus Pocus uh, part two? I would live for it all day long, wouldn't you? 
I mean, it's not like it's some sacred movie that you can't... <laughs> How would a remake made by Disney that literally every movie they put out is fantastic, right? How would a sequel to that be bad? I mean, are we serious? Come on now. We need the Hocus Pocus. Re we need it. <laughs> do you care? I do. <laughs> I want to see it so bad. So, if you didn't know what you don't know is a lot, and you haven't watched yesterday's vlog, I came across, this is the secret part of the mystery, I came upon a mysterious <laughs> cooler on the side of the road. And you know what is so weird, is I totally had forgotten the movie Seven, when you guys were like, Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt. But wasn't it just like a box that he had, and, his, and it, like he was carrying it with him all the way out there, and then he had to open it, and wasn't it Gwyneth Paltrow's head? Isn't that what it was at the end of that movie? Okay, well there was this cooler on the side of the road. So I'm out here. I'm gonna see if the cooler is still here. Do you guys remember the cooler from last night? Somebody asked me at this house if I'm close to Noblesville. They're like, oh my God, I know that house. It's so cool. Are you in Noblesville? Yes, I'm in Noblesville right now. I'm currently on Gray Road in Noblesville and this is where I saw it. This is the house right here with the moat that she was talking about. Y'all wanna see? This is now the second time that I've shown it. It has a moat and then it has this huge wall and gate. And up here was where the cooler was. It was right to the left over there, the side of the road. And do you think it's still there? I'm kind of even scared to look. So if it's there, then I'm gonna have to get out and look. I just can't do this two nights in a row. I have to know. It's gone. Oh my God, it's gone, you guys. The cooler's gone. It was like right there. Yeah, it's gone. You can't see, but I can see it. There's nothing there. I wonder who moved it. <sighs> do you guys, what do you think was in it? Okay, so, <laughs> I feel really bad, you guys. I did, like, this horrific jump scare when I was talking about the cooler, and I was like, and I like screamed, but I was thinking about my mom and my mom back in the day, like I would like come around a corner and try to scare her and stuff like that. I thought it was really funny. And she would always go, oh my God, why'd you, why would you do that to your mother? You scared your mother so much. So I know a lot of you watch my vlogs like when you're going to bed at night or at work or things like that or driving and I don't want to do that to you. So after I got done filming that whole part and finishing my vlog, I was like, I need to go in there and like edit that out. <laughs> I need to just cut it off right there and then do another ending to mine. So, this is the new ending. Um, there's no jump scare, I, I promise you. This is, uh, you know, <laughs> this is not a scary show, even though we talk about scary movies and scary books sometimes. But anyway, um, so yeah. But I do want to say this. I want you guys to list in the comment section below what you thought was in the cooler. Because at first, I really did think that there was like, I was like, oh my God, what if there's a head in that cooler? And then when everybody else started talking about it in the comment sections, I was like, oh my God, this is so weird that other people, like their mind went to the same thing. But then do you know what my second thought was about the cooler? Okay, I'm gonna let you think for a second. Snakes. I thought it might be snakes, like all these snakes. And tonight, if it was there, I legit was gonna go find out what the cooler was in it. I was like, okay, you're gonna, you're gonna get some strength and confidence and you're gonna go <laughs> for the for the people that watch your vlogs you're gonna find out what's in the cooler because so many people commented about it but I'm not stupid I was gonna kick it and run I was gonna kick it and run because <laughs> you gotta know how to do that right so uh, but the cooler wasn't there so now we'll never know it's the mystery of the cooler so what what do you think uh, was in there. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. And um, I also want to know if you guys like the vlogs that are like all day long. Like I go in and I edit pieces of it together. Um, you know, like throughout the day. Because I, it's real easy for me. All I have to do is just like, I have a different memory card that I use just for my vlog. So I can just put it in my camera, take it out, put it in, and then like film a little bit here, film a little bit there, and then put it all together. So let me know what you guys like. If you like that better, or if you like me, just like all one like thing at night, or what you enjoy, and yeah. And put it in the comment section below. I hope you guys are having a great start to your week. 
This is the last week of September. We will never have another September in 2018 after this week. So enjoy it. Make the most of your life. Try to start every day on a really peaceful and positive note. And then remind yourself of doing that, you know, like where you started that morning and carry that through the whole day in times that you get frustrated or irritated or angry or sad, you know, whatever. And remember, you know, like bring it back to that. That's what I've been doing. And, you know, it's what I've done at times in my life that have really helped me stay balanced and peaceful. So, um, yeah, try that. And if you're doing it and it's working for you, will you let me know in the comment section below? Like if you're starting your days off doing like meditations or positive thoughts or prayers or whatever works for you, if you're doing that in the morning and it's really been helping you, like I've been talking about, cause it's really been helping me. Um, let me know in the comment section below and, um, I love you guys and I hope you're having a uh, wonderful start to your week. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.